what if there was construction technology that was fireproof, soundproof, bugproof, bulletproof, breathable, moldproof, non-toxic, regulated humidity without fans, wires, or switches, regulated temperature, it was very low cost to run your building, ultra-low maintenance, structurally sound, earthquake resistant if built well, hurricane and tornado resistant, ultra-low embodied energy, thousand-year durability, recyclable, locally available, and it's available worldwide. Would you be interested in a building product like that? I was a high school physics teacher for years and uh, loved my job, but had a fantasy that when I retired, I was going to build a sustainable house, the most sustainable house that I could possibly build. So I researched and it was just a fantasy project. I had a great time. And then I came across Round Earth. fighting climate change by disrupting home design. In a perfect world, the enclosure that we live in is a natural one. Everybody is able to be housed comfortably and in a sustainable way. And that's the beauty of building rammed earth homes, that it comes from the earth, it is the earth. And there's nothing more natural than that. It made too much sense. It used no uh, toxic materials. It was a natural material. It was comfortable and beautiful. How do you lose? is a rammed earth home. It's just a material, so it's a way of building a house. Similar to concrete construction, you have a formwork, and inside that formwork, with concrete, you'd pour it, but with rammed earth, you're going to put it in, in sandy, clay-like layers. You're shoveling the dirt in, and you're pneumatically tamping it to turn it back into stone. Mother Nature does this over millennia takes that subsoil and just under pressure squishes it back into rock. Well, we do it in a matter of days. It's two wides, two sections. So one wife is on the outside of rammed earth and then there's an inner wife of rammed earth. You literally get into the formwork. It's about 18, 20 inches wide. And in the middle, we put the insulation. It's, uh, it, I mean, it's an almost ridiculously simple concept. And then when it's done, it's done. It's the wall, it's the structure, it's the insulation, and it's the finish. A rammed earth house, it takes as long as a regular house with all those layers in it, but there's nobody else coming to paint it. There's nobody else coming to put, you know, the drywall on top of it. It's finished. Rammed earth has actually been used for millennia. It has been around since the earliest history of humans creating their own dwellings. What more natural thing to do than to take the earth around you and create your own cave? We know that people have been using this in a vernacular way, but we also have evidence of large-scale rammed earth that's still in existence. The Great Wall of China, has been built of rammed earth, thousands of years old and still standing beautifully. It's more about how durable it is. So a wood structure may, in fact, live a long durable life, but it's highly unlikely unless it's something very famous and timber framed. But a rammed earth house, despite itself, will be here 500 years from now. It does not burn. There's nothing organic in it to burn at all. There's nothing organic in it to grow mold. 
it, it will last because of that. If built to the same site and to the same size, a rammed earth house would use 75% less energy than a normal house. If we were building with rammed earth, not only are we not destroying the natural world in order to build those homes, but we're creating spaces where we're not using energy. Uh, this house does not have a furnace, it does not have an air conditioner. As you can tell, it's perfectly comfortable right now. It's perfectly comfortable year round. The energy efficiency does come from that combination of the insulation in the middle of the walls and the thermal mass of the rammed earth itself. And thermal mass is a property where a material can hold on to heat. The sun comes through the windows as it gets absorbed by the, the rammed earth, and the rammed earth will hold on to that heat until the sun is gone and it starts to cool down and then that heat slowly seeps out and just keeps everything at this nice constant temperature. If everybody could live like that all over the world, there's global warming solved right there. It's a huge thing. Imagine a world where we don't have to clear cut forests just to create our housing where we don't have to use highly processed, very energy intensive materials. In order to be disruptive, we're changing something. We're changing something in a big way. Rand Earth is perfect for this. My name is Sylvia Cook, and I am disrupting design with Rand Earth.